Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've ever wanted to invest in real estate but thought you needed a lot of money, this video is for you. Today I'm going to talk about REITs, real estate investment trusts and how they can help you get started in real estate investing with little capital. Let's dive in. What will be the content of today's video? What are REITs? How REITs work? What types of REITs can you invest in? Benefits of investing in REITs? Should you add REITs to your stock portfolio? How to follow the real estate market? How to start investing in REITs? As the Southeast leader for premier shopping, dining and entertainment, Phipps Plaza in Atlanta is set to scale new heights with a transformative expansion that will redefine the way Buckhead works. What do REITs? A REIT is a company that owns, operates or finances income producing real estate. Basically, it's a way for you to invest in real estate without having to buy properties yourself. You invest by buying shares in REIT and your money gets pooled with other investors' money to purchase real estate. How REITs work You purchase shares in a REIT and the company uses that money to buy real estate properties or real estate loans. The income generated from these properties, like rent or mortgage payments, is then distributed to shareholders as dividends, so you're essentially earning a share of the rental income or mortgage interest. Right, we want to take the other way, you want to buy REITs and find REITs in spe very specific stock picking, like Boston Properties. We added to our several portfolios December 1st, it's up 25% since then. We've owned uh, Prologis, PLD, for several years, it's mm -hmm. an industrial REIT. And in the small mid-cap space, Cube, 20% of their business is here in New York City. So as we continue to store things, especially in New York with us moving around a little bit, I think that's a really great theme. Now, given the fact that it's three, three and a half percent of the market, Scott, you can actually have a little bit higher tracking area in that and have a 1% position in each one of these stocks and be overweight. That's why we like it. What types of REITs can you invest in? There are basically three types of REITs you can invest in. Equity REITs, mortgage REITs and hybrid REITs. Equity REITs own and operate income producing real estate. Their revenue primarily comes from leasing space and collecting rents on the properties they own. These REITs manage and develop real estate properties such as apartments, uh, office buildings, shopping malls, uh, hotels and industrial warehouses. Here are some examples of equity REITs. Simon Property Group SPG is one of the largest retail real estate investment trusts. It owns and operates primary shopping, dining, entertainment and mixed-use destinations across North America, Europe and Asia. Public Storage, ticker PSA, is a leading provider of self-storage solutions. The company owns and operates a vast network of storage units, offering secure and convenient storage options for individuals and businesses. Hey Melvin, what are you doing? Hey, we're storing all our things in the cloud. In this moment you realize you need public storage. Each unit is clean and well lit with convenient access. Another type of REIT is mortgage REITs. OM REITs provide financing for income producing real estate by purchasing or originating mortgages and mortgage backed securities MBS. Their revenue primarily comes from the interest earned on these mortgage loans. For example, Annually Capital Management ticker NLY is a diversified capital manager that invests in and finances residential and commercial assets. Their primary focus on investing in and managing a portfolio of mortgage backed securities. AGNC Investment Corp ticker AGNC invests in residential mortgage backed securities for which the principal and interest payments are guaranteed by government sponsored enterprises such as Fannie Mae and uh, Freddie Mac. The third type of REIT is hybrid REITs, combining the investment strategies of both equity REITs and mortgage REITs. They own and operate income generating properties and invest in mortgages and mortgage backed securities. This dual strategy allows them to benefit from rental income and interest payments. Come see examples of hybrid REITs. Starwood Property Trust ticker STWD is a leading real estate investment trust that originates, acquires, finances and manages commercial mortgage loans and other commercial real estate debt investments. 
Additionally, they own physical real estate properties, blending equity and mortgage strategies. New York Mortgage Trust, ticker NYMT, invests in a combination of residential mortgage loans, including multifamily CNBC and distressed residential assets. They have a diverse portfolio that includes both equity interests in real estate and mortgage-related investments. Featuring a spa, cafe, and rooftop pool for a total wellness experience. A unique curated dining area with outdoor entertainment will further elevate the property's long-standing community appeal, while also adding to the numerous dining options within walking distance. Benefits of investing in REITs For starters, they offer the chance to invest in real estate with much less money than buying property outright. They are also required by law to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income as dividends, which means regular income for investors. Plus, REITs are traded on major stock exchanges, making them easy to buy and sell. Should you add REITs to your stock portfolio? If you take a look at uh, the percentage of stocks in the S&P 500 with respect to REITs is at an all-time low. If you look at the reaction with respect to this higher for longer interest rates, it's been an overreaction because our analysis shows that actually REITs outperform in a higher interest rate environment. Now, BMO has learned that interest rates are going back to zero. So, I mean, you know, so we have to kind of be in this range here, we think, between three and a half and four and a half on the 10-year treasury, four to five. We think that's a very, very good uh, sign. Adding a real estate investment trust to your stock portfolio offers diversification and potential returns. REITs invest in various real estate properties, providing exposure to a market that behaves differently from stocks and bonds. One benefit of REITs is diversification. Real estate often moves independently from the stock market, reducing overall portfolio volatility. Additionally, REITs offer high dividend yields, making them attractive for income-focused investors, including retirees. Moreover, REITs can act as an inflation hedge. Real estate values and rental incomes tend to increase with inflation, preserving the purchasing power of your investment. Uh, to include REITs, determine your allocation typically 5-20% to of your portfolio and choose investments carefully. You can select individual REITs or opt for REIT mutual funds ETFs for broader exposure. How to follow the real estate market You can follow the real estate market online through various sources such as financial news websites, real estate investment forums and dedicated real estate market analysis websites. But personally, I prefer to follow the indexes. For a better understanding of the real estate situation, follow indexes like the S&P Core Logic Case Shiller Home Price Index, the National Association of Realtors Existing Home Sales Report, and the U.S. Census Bureau's Housing Stars and Building Permits Report. These indexes provide valuable insights into home prices, sales activity, and construction trends, offering a comprehensive view of the real estate market. However, I look at the big REITs, which manage billion-dollar properties and thus reflect the state of the market as a whole. We will also give you a very good idea how to start investing in REITs. Getting started with REITs is pretty straightforward. You can buy shares through a brokerage account just like you would with stocks. Do some research to find REITs that match your investment goals and risk tolerance. Many brokerages offer tools and resources to help you choose the right ones. And remember, diversification is key. Don't put all your money into one REIT, spread it out to manage risk. Investing in real estate doesn't have to be out of reach. With REITs, you can start building a real estate portfolio with relatively little money and enjoy the benefits of a real estate investment. It just takes a little courage and some searching to get started with your first REIT investment. Fingers crossed! Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more investment tips and advice. See you next time.